Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to make friends when you're on the road. Now this is something I get asked about quite a lot and it's something that I do still struggle with sometimes, but I feel like I have a few solutions. So I'm really excited to share them with you today. Um, the first one for me is to join Facebook groups that are relevant to what you're interested in and local to where you are. So I normally always search Facebook for a nomad group. So I will search for like, Digital Nomads Chiang Mai or Digital Nomads Puerto Rico or Digital Nomads Seville, wherever you're going, um, there's quite often a nomad group there. That's a great way to meet people because everyone in that group is a nomad, so they're traveling, they're looking to meet people, you've probably got a ton in common because you're all working online, you will have the same problems, the same life experience. So. I find those a really fantastic way to meet and you'll probably make some great business contacts as well. So my number one tip is to join a nomad group in your city or your country um, and just be active in there and see if people want to meet up. People are honestly so willing to hang out with other nomads. It's super easy. The second one is to pick up a hobby, either something that you already like or something that you want to start um, and go to a class or basically use it to meet people. So I have made friends before through dance classes and then I also make a lot of friends through thrifting. So what I typically do is I'll look for like a thrifting meetup or I'll look at the thrifting hashtag on Instagram for that city or I will find a thrift shop and see if they're doing an event or I'll look and see if there's blogs for like a thrifting blogger who lives in that area so I'll search for like charity shop Las Vegas or thrifters Las Vegas and see who's blogging about it and who's Instagramming about it and who's tagged in photos from there and then I'll message them and be like hey I love thrifting I'm in town will you show me your favorite shops and it's a really good icebreaker because they'll like take you out with them and there's plenty to talk about because you're talking about the clothes that you're looking at so it's a really nice way rather than being like can we get coffee which kind of feels a bit intimidating or a bit like a date I don't know um for me saying will you take me to your favorite thrift shops is like such an easy sell because they definitely want someone to come thrifting with them um so i find that that works really really well just to find people online or through meetups through a hobby that you have um i would say going to things like yoga classes and dance classes can be quite hard to meet people because it's not a very chatty environment um you know like yoga you're being really quiet before and then obviously you can't talk in the class and then after everybody's rushing off to their separate things so i feel like stuff like yoga isn't that great to meet people like at the gym and things like that so i would try and come up with a hobby which is more chatty like maybe crafting or a languages class or something more like that where you're actually going to be talking more so try and think what hobbies you have and whether you can use them to meet people that kind of leads me on to my third one which is all about apps so i already mentioned that i use instagram a lot to meet people i will look at specific hashtags like i'm currently in san juan so i'll be like you know san juan bloggers or san juan thrifters um there might not be any here specifically but i normally find that if i look at some quite specific hashtags like that or you can look at accounts that have got um, tags in. If there's a thrift shop that I know of in Las Vegas, then I'll see who has tagged that thrift shop in pictures because they're probably thrifters. And you know, it takes a bit of effort, but I find that it's a really, really good way to meet people is through Instagram. So I meet up with people quite often who I've met on Instagram. Um, and I don't find it that worrying because I feel like if they're uploading Instagram stories, then those are very hard to fake. Um, obviously, in the past and still today it can be dangerous to meet people off the internet um so use your like intuition and your common sense but i feel like if i'm watching someone's stories then i know them pretty well obviously i'll be chatting to them in dms before we meet and you know you want to meet in daylight public place whatever all that stuff but i have had a lot of success with meeting people on instagram i've met some amazing people and then there's also actually a few apps which are specifically for meeting people so there's one called travello and one called torlina both of them I haven't met anybody from, but I know that that's what they're for. So you can post where you're going to be going and then other people can comment and be like, oh, I'm there as well and I have similar interests. So that might be a really handy tip for you. Um, for me, Instagram is enough, but it really depends what you're looking for. 
Similar to that, I actually think Friends of Friends is surprisingly powerful. So I recently posted on my Instagram stories that I was coming to Vegas and I wanted to hang out with someone else in the daytimes to go take Instagrams and just like explore and be tourists. Um, and I had someone approach me from there who we had the best time catching up and she was like, oh, I live in Vegas. Um, but I also had some people message me saying like, oh, my friend lives nearby or my friend's just been there or my friend's on their way there. So I would say post on Instagram or on Facebook and see if anybody knows anyone in the city where you're going to, especially if you're going there for a bit longer, like because you're a nomad and you're going to Medellin for three months. Just post on Facebook and see if anybody's passing through or you know anybody there because you might be surprised. I often find when I'm traveling that friends of friends will be passing through town and we'll meet up and everyone's just moving around these days. Like the world is so global and people are going on holidays or traveling. And so you probably will find that there's people through your like network of connections who are going to be in the city that you're in. So just ask around. Another option that we use a lot is co-working spaces. It's a bit similar to the yoga class in that they're not always super chatty, so it can be a bit tricky to meet people. But you know, you can chat to people in like the cafe or the kitchen, or if they don't look like they're working. I find the co-works vary a lot in vibe. Some of them are like really chatty and everyone's really sociable, and some of the co-works are just super serious and everybody's working. So try and be considerate of whether people are trying to work and you're disturbing them. But there's bound to be meetups in the evenings. Um, like I said, there's the kitchen area. So it is a really great place to meet people. And you can just ask them what they're working on or how long they've been there or if they know a good restaurant for lunch. Like there's so many conversation starters that you can use. In general, I feel like to make friends abroad, you have to just be willing to put yourself out there a bit. So I mentioned earlier, I made a friend through a dance class. And what actually happened is that it was the dance teacher and she taught a dance to this singer called Mike Posner and we were in Boston and I really liked the song so I looked up who it was by and then I saw he was coming to play a gig in Boston so I said to the teacher like he's playing a gig would you like to come and see it with me and you kind of have to always ask people on date and like I find it a bit awkward but I think it's really the only way like one of you has to put yourself out of there and be like hello would you like to be my friend um, and you don't have to obviously say it quite like that but that's essentially what's happening so yeah I invited her to like a concert date with me and we're still friends now like five years later so that is kind of just what friendship is like you have to put yourself out there a bit and you have to be a little bit maybe you're not confident but you have to fake it till you make it um, and try and just chat to people and see if they want to hang out with you um, I also do the same on Instagram. I message people and I'm like, you're a nomad who I really enjoy watching your stories. I feel like we'd get along really well. Where are you going next? Do you want to hang out? Um, I'm coming to this city. Let's get coffee. You know, let's go thrifting. So you do have to put yourself out there a little bit if you want to meet people when you're traveling. That kind of links onto the next one, which is to meet people in hostels. Now, this is gonna sound insane, but I have never stayed in a hostel, which I know is crazy because I've been traveling, well, my whole life really, and I've never stayed in a hostel. Not because I think anything is wrong with them, but because I'm normally traveling as a couple, so it works out cheaper for us to get an Airbnb or whatever. But I would really recommend that you follow my friend on Instagram called Christabella Travels. I will link her in the description box because she talks a lot um, about meeting people, especially in hostels, because she travels solo all the time, really. Um, so she's quite often traveling with another girl who she's friends with or she's traveling with another nomad but she's often traveling alone and she meets a lot of people through hostels so I would recommend following her for some more advice but for sure hostels is a great place it's probably even better than co-works because people are out of office um you know in a co-work people are kind of trying to work but in a hostel people are just there to talk you know they're not in the office so it's a really great way to meet people there's loads of events um i do quite often do the hostel tours because you know it's going to be a bunch of other young people so if i'm in san juan right now i might see if there's a hostel that does a tour to the salt lakes or a tour to the beach um, and they're normally really good value they're normally super convenient because they'll collect you from the hostel and there's lunch included and all that kind of stuff and it's a really good way to meet people. My final tip is maybe a bit backwards, but that is just to choose places where you know people. Like if you're a nomad, you can go anywhere in the whole world. So of course you might know that your friends are already in Chiang Mai and you want to go there or you have an aunt in France. 
But you might also need to reach out to people a bit. And I quite often, when we're choosing our next location, will message kind of our top 10 nomad friends who we want to spend more time with. And I'll just be like, where are you guys going to be in January? Because we're in the market. Um, And then whoever suggests interesting places, we'll pick one of them and we'll go to there. Or we try and get a group together and we'll all travel as a group. But because you're a nomad, you should really be taking the opportunity to go where your friends are. And it can be a bit of a lonely life being a nomad, even if you're traveling with someone. So we plan pretty much every destination around where our friends are going to be going or where they live, where they're from. um, And we'll use it to get to be sociable. So I'd really recommend having a bit of a list in your head or maybe an actual list like in Evernote of who you would like to spend more time with and plan your trips around them because that is the beauty of this lifestyle. You've earned that freedom. So make sure that you use it. So guys, that is all my tips for making friends while you travel. I hope that you found that really useful. Please don't forget to subscribe as always. um, And let me know in the comments how you make friends. um, If you have made any friends while you're traveling, how you met them and what you recommend. I'd be really interested to get a little bit more advice and start a bit of a conversation. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next week. Bye.